Imagine a motor that does not burn with heat, does not hunger for copper or rare earths, and yet moves with near-perfect efficiency. A machine that turns without the heavy chains of the past, light enough to change the way we think about motion itself. For over a century, we believed magnets and coils were the only way forward. But hidden in plain sight, an older force waits. Simple, silent, and powerful. Now it has been awakened, shaped into a motor unlike any before. The question is, are we ready for what it means? The old world of motors. For more than a hundred years, electric motors have been built on the same foundation. Copper windings, iron cores, and strong magnets sit at the center of nearly every design. Current flows through the coils. Magnetic fields rise and fall, and the rotor turns. It is a system we understand well, one that has carried us from the first factories to today's electric cars. But this familiar design has a cost. The copper inside is heavy, expensive, and difficult to source in such huge quantities. Permanent magnets often rely on rare earth materials, mined in places where labor is harsh and the earth is scarred. Cooling systems must be added to control the heat created when power surges through the coils. Every part adds weight, bulk, and complexity. Yes, modern motors are efficient, but there are limits. The best machines can reach into the upper 80s or low 90s in percentage, but pushing higher has become harder and harder. Each fraction of improvement requires more materials, more cost, and more effort. The design that once felt unstoppable is now beginning to show its age. And the question grows louder. Must motion always depend on magnets? The forgotten force. Think back to childhood. A balloon rubbed against your hair, clinging to the wall as if by magic. A spark leaping from a doorknob on a dry day. Small, playful moments that revealed something invisible, yet powerful. Static electricity. It seemed like a trick. A fleeting spark. Nothing more. Few imagined it could ever be harnessed for real work. And so, while magnets were perfected and copper wires spread through every machine, this other force was left behind. It lingered in classrooms, in science fairs, in simple experiments, but rarely in industry. Generations of engineers looked past it, choosing the familiar path of electromagnetic machines. Yet the force was always there, waiting. Unlike magnetism, it does not need heavy coils or exotic metals. It does not fade into heat with the same hunger for energy. It exists in voltage, in the quiet tension between charged surfaces. What once seemed too simple, too uncontrollable, is now being shaped with precision. From childhood sparks to engineered motion, the overlooked is returning to challenge what we thought was unshakable. A radical rethink, C-Motive's approach. In Wisconsin, a company called C-Motive has taken this forgotten force and turned it into something practical. Their machines do not carry the heavy coils and magnets we expect. Instead, they use plates, lightweight, carefully arranged, separated by insulating fluid. When high voltage is applied, the plates attract and repel and the rotor begins to turn. It sounds almost too simple, but the details are precise. The electrodes on the stator and rotor create shifting electric fields. Voltage moves, force appears, and motion follows. No copper windings wrapped tightly around an iron core. No rare earth magnets locked inside. Just engineered surfaces, electric fields, and the hidden strength of static electricity scaled up and controlled. The voltages are high, 5,000, 10,000, sometimes 15,000 volts. Numbers that sound dangerous, 
but in this context are carefully managed. The insulating fluid acts as a shield, allowing the machine to operate without sparks tearing it apart. This design makes the motor not only lighter, but also simpler in form. What emerges is not an incremental upgrade, but a departure. It is a leap sideways, a return to fundamentals with modern tools. C-Motive is not improving the old, it is building something entirely different. The efficiency shift. Efficiency is where this new design begins to stand apart. A typical industrial motor wastes more energy than most people realize. Even at 85 or 90% efficiency, a portion of every unit of power is lost as heat. Multiply that across thousands of machines in a single factory, and the waste becomes staggering. Electrostatic motors reach numbers that seem unreal, close to 99%. The difference may look small on paper, but in practice, it changes everything. Imagine 1% more efficiency in every motor across a country. That single percent could free enough electricity to supply millions of homes. The impact goes beyond energy bills. Less wasted energy means smaller cooling systems, less wear on parts, and fewer shutdowns. Heat is the quiet destroyer of machines, and without it, lifespans stretch longer. What is striking is not just the gain, but how it is achieved. Instead of squeezing the last drops from an old design, this is a fresh path forward, a way of capturing energy with a clarity that feels closer to perfection than anything we have seen before. Materials and sustainability. Copper has always been the backbone of electric motors. Wound tightly into coils, it guides current and shapes magnetic fields. But copper is heavy, costly, and becoming harder to secure as demand rises worldwide. Electrostatic motors loosen that grip. By removing the need for windings on the rotor, they use far less copper, sometimes up to 90% less. Then there are the magnets. Traditional motors lean heavily on rare earth elements, mined in ways that scar landscapes and bind industries to fragile supply chains. In this new design, magnets are not needed at all. Motion is drawn from electric fields, not permanent magnetic pull. The effect is twofold. Costs can fall as expensive materials are left behind. At the same time, dependence on vulnerable resources weakens. A future where motors no longer rely on rare earth metals is not only cheaper, but also more secure. It speaks of freedom, machines built without ties to unstable markets or destructive mining. What once was a technical shift begins to look like a path towards sustainability, both for industry and for the planet. Heat, wear, and lifespan. Every machine pays a price for wasted energy. In traditional motors, that price is heat. Coils warm, insulation ages, and parts wear out faster than they should. Fans and liquid cooling systems are added, but even these solutions cannot erase the strain. Over time, heat becomes the silent enemy, shortening life and raising costs. Electrostatic motors turn this pattern upside down. With far fewer energy losses, there is little excess heat to fight against. Components remain cooler, stress on materials is reduced, and systems run more gently. The difference may not sound dramatic, but in practice, it is profound. Longer life means fewer breakdowns and less downtime. In a factory, where every hour counts, that can transform operations. Maintenance crews are freed from constant repair, and machines deliver steadier performance. It is not only about saving energy, it is about building motors that endure, quietly working year after year with less need for attention. The challenges. No breakthrough arrives without obstacles. 
Electrostatic motors may promise high efficiency and lighter weight, but they come with serious challenges. The most pressing is voltage. These machines operate in the range of thousands of volts, sometimes as high as 15,000. Handling such power requires careful design, special insulation, and protective fluids. Without them, arcs of electricity could destroy the system in an instant. Another limitation lies in torque. At smaller scales, electrostatic designs cannot match the pulling strength of magnetic motors. They struggle to deliver the raw force needed for cars, trucks, or heavy machinery. For now, they remain best suited for places where slow, steady, and efficient motion matters more than brute power. There is also the question of production. Current factories are built around magnets and copper coils. Shifting to a new model will demand fresh supply chains, new training, and different tools. These are not simple adjustments. They represent years of change before the technology can spread widely, where they might appear. Electrostatic motors may not be ready to drive cars or lift planes, but they are finding their place in other worlds. Picture the machines that keep factories alive. Endless pumps moving liquids, fans pulling air, conveyors pushing goods across wide floors. These motors run constantly, and even small gains in efficiency can save enormous amounts of energy. Here, a lighter, cooler, and simpler design makes sense. The same applies to renewable energy. Wind turbines and hydro systems thrive on slow, steady rotation. They also operate in controlled environments where high voltage can be managed safely. Replacing heavy magnetic motors with electrostatic ones could cut costs and ease maintenance, bringing more stability to clean energy systems. Looking further ahead, the horizon widens. If the hurdles of safety, torque, and production are overcome, the impact could be vast. A world less dependent on rare earth metals, less hungry for copper, and more efficient in every corner of motion is possible. It would not arrive with fanfare, but quietly, reshaping industries and supply chains. A silent revolution, built on the forgotten power of static electricity, turning motion into something lighter and closer to perfection. We stand at a turning point, though few notice it. A motor that moves without magnets or coils feels almost unreal. Yet, it is here, taking shape in quiet labs and workshops. The challenges are heavy, but so is the promise. History often shifts in silence, long before the world understands what has changed. Electrostatic motors may be one of those shifts, a step away from the old, into something leaner, cleaner, and more enduring. The question left to us is simple. Will we see its rise? or let it pass unseen.